Parents, you know when little ones get sick, it can break your heart. Typically, a trip to the pharmacy can get them on the mend. An OTC or prescription is often enough to do the trick. But for some kids, it's much more serious. One family in Bainbridge knows this all too well. Their little boy is in the fight for his life. He's battling a rare genetic disease. Our Nolani Matthews shows how the community is giving hope to little Cloud Kerbo and his family. He's just a joyful, funny little boy. Like most little boys his age, Cloud Kerbo loves Toy Story. Does it make you happy? And a good happy meal. Your average happy three-year-old. But in early July, these simple acts of joy taking a turn. At the time, Cloud's walking changed. Doctors discovered the unthinkable. August 9th, we received a diagnosis that he had Kerbet disease. And everybody's life kind of changed forever that day. Natalie Kerbo is Cloud's aunt. She says the rare disease attacks the brain and nervous system. Without quick treatment, it can cause immobility, even death. Good job. She says weeks later, experts in Pittsburgh approved a rare transplant. But first, a shocking price needed up front. At first, felt pretty hopeless because who can come up with half a million dollars on short notice? She says word traveled fast here in Bainbridge and soon signs for cloud covered city streets and storefronts. In a matter of weeks, community events and a GoFundMe raising well over half. It's one of those things when you put yourself in their shoes and you have the empathy and you think, what if it was my daughter or what if it was my son? By October, cloud receiving chemotherapy and the procedure he desperately needed. There's just not words for how many times, how many times can you say thank you? The family raising awareness, saying it's better if treated early, but only seven states screen for Cabay in newborns. It just seems so unfair if he had been born in New York that we would have known three years ago. But because he was born in Georgia, we didn't. A disease affecting one in 100,000 in the U.S. They have to focus all of their attention, every bit of their being on this for the next who knows how long, and, and that's what's motivating us as a community. A joyful little boy against all odds, thanks to a community he disappeared. showing every cloud <laughs> has a silver lining. In Bainbridge, Nolani Matthews, WCTV Eyewitness News. Such a great smile. And the family also told us Florida doesn't screen for this disease either. So far, Cloud's reports have been rather positive since receiving the stem cell transplant only good news from here hopefully well